Hi guys, so this morning I am about to go to a workout class with Sweaty Betty. Sweaty Betty is doing these like, is it meant to be like bomb sculpting classes? However, I mean I'm, I am going to it and my cab's about to arrive, but literally I can barely walk today because of the workout I did on Friday. My thighs and my bum are so tight that I can like barely stretch them, so this might not go down very well. I have actually put on a bit of makeup because my skin is just in absolute not great today. Um, I tanned last night, I didn't put any tan on my face for that reason because I don't want to put anything on it, but it still feels horrible today and it's just all red and like upset and inflamed so I just had to put something on it just to get this that down a bit which I know is kind of counterproductive but as soon as I'm home I'm gonna wipe it all off and just have another moisturizer day so I'm just feeling a little bit pooped today I realize that it's just the way it's feeling and it's sore and stuff and it's not necessarily it doesn't look bad but you'll know yourself like the way your skin feels on a certain day can really kind of dictate your mood so that's how I'm feeling today I'm sure this workout class will cheer me up a little bit though I've had a little bit of granola to start the day and I'm sure that they also are having a bit of breakfast after it so yeah so this is the this is the set the sweaty bettings Sweaty bettings? The sweaty betty leggings set. Kind of cool, it's got the tapered bits. And it's meant to be like bumps, bum sculpting. I don't know if it's that sculpting on me. And then this is the top, cute. Um, it's a bit longer than a normal sports brand. It's quite thin to be honest. I really hope that this means we're doing yoga because I'm not going to be able to do much else with my legs currently. I'm just trying to like stretch out my legs because it's so painful. I'm really worried I'm not going to be able to do anything in this one. Everyone looks so nice in all their workout gear though. It's really cool. colour. I'll leave a link down below for it if I can still find it. But I'm going to take it to Iceland <laughs> because I've um, yeah bought a few things for the trip. I've had quite a few people message me. Thank you very much by the way for anyone that did message me on Insta stories to say the jacket you've bought is absolutely not appropriate. <laughs> it's not going to work at all because it's absolutely freezing. What I'm going to have to do, because obviously with what I do, I want to take pictures of my outfit and I want to get nice shots. I mean, that's kind of the point. I'm going to take all my nice things and we're just going to have to try our best at taking some pictures. Put on my new hat again because I'm obsessed with it. I really love it a lot. So I thought I'd uh, pack with you guys today. These coats are perfect for England. I'm going to definitely take them. Even if I can't really wear them outside in Iceland, I can wear them outside in London and that's the main thing. So, pink coat in the bag. Now, the only thing I really need to do though is, I'm sure I took a picture of the itinerary. Oh wow, it's early. Ooh, early morning. Oh yeah, I'm being picked up at 6.25 tomorrow. Hey. That is early. I'm being picked up at 6.25 tomorrow. Tomorrow morning? Yeah. Ooh. So, right, so, blue lagoon. I'm gonna take two things to potentially wear in the blue lagoon, I think two swimwear pieces that I haven't worn yet. First one is this one, just plain super black, but it's more of a 
thong bum on it so it's somewhat quite flattering on and it's got a really nice low back so it's a super simple and easy peasy i'm gonna pack that and then the other one i'm gonna take just in case i fancy wearing a bikini instead is this gorgeous one from melissa odebash in this peachy pink color quite simple on the bottoms but then the top is really pretty with these, these gold straps it's just very cute little bikini so that's going to be my second choice because i haven't worn either of those yet so i'd like to wear those jumpers so i've got my nice reese jumper that i want to wear Pack that in there let's see so we need so dinner that evening we're going to need something warm and probably quite chunky dinner on the monday night is meant to be something quite chic and lovely i was thinking of taking this dress with me my new self-portrait one because i haven't really had a chance to wear it out and about yet but i don't know if this is going to be too dressy for a dinner although i'll probably be freezing what to do maybe i could take a suit i could take a suit and wear my dior top under it maybe that's what i'll do instead now this is what i'm most excited about wearing in fact i'll show you this this is the cutest coziest cardigan it's from an instagram brand well an actual brand as well but they're on instagram they're called mum's handmade and they very kindly sent me one of these incredible cardigans they also come in like jumpers as well kind of way to wear it is that kind of like off shoulder vibe it's kind of cute you've got like a little cami on underneath or something so i want to get a very nice little picture in this so i'm gonna take this although it's absolutely massive for packing but needs must i really want to get a picture now then in terms of dior and what i'm taking from dior because it, well have i mentioned it's a dior trip well it's a dior trip so um i have a few gorgeous things first up oh my god this is a huge Dior cape. It's absolutely amazing. Hood. Oh my god, it is actually a hood. <laughs> How gorgeous is this? I feel like I'm a little bit I feel like I'm a little bit in Harry Potter here though. <laughs> I'm going to wear this and I thought this would be the perfect kind of thing. I can layer it over the top of my other coats and jackets to keep me even more warm. Plus it should just look really gorgeous, I hope. So I'm gonna take that. How do you even fold a cape? What's that? It's a cape. Christian Ooh. Dior cape. Can I try it on? Nope. Not for you. Are you gonna look like Lando Calrissian? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> you would look like that. It's got its own separate case, that cape. No, this is my case. Yeah, obviously it's your case, yeah, but I'm it's pretty much it. taken up a whole case. Yeah, I'm taking it. Yeah, I'm taking it in my hand luggage. Now, this is the piece I'm most excited about. I was going to buy this in the store. It's the most incredible Dior roll neck, cashmere roll neck. I can't say much more about it than that I absolutely adore it. So I'm very, very excited to wear that and it should go with lots of different outfits and just look absolutely beautiful. So that's going in. And finally, look how beautiful this color is. It's like a mauve pink. You can't really see that. It looks very gray though. It's like a very mauve movie grey. It's a beautiful, beautiful bag. I can't wait for taking that as well. In fact, I'll leave it in here. I also want to take some of my own bags. I'm going to take my gorgeous grey one. I am absolutely in love with. And I'm going to take my little baby blue as well. Hopefully they will fit. Now, in terms of shoes, I have a couple pairs. Now, I'll probably take a couple of Dior pairs to wear for the evenings, but my general shoes are going to be warm and toasty ones i'm gonna take these because they're so cute now i know these are these are sorel and chloe boots they're gonna be so nice and snug and warm cannot wait to wear them i potentially might wear those on the plane or i will wear these i'm gonna take two this is another pair of sorel boots but just super great i love these a lot this is a really lovely super warm pair and i thought again they'd be great for the day that we're going to the golden circle i think so i'm taking those two but I do also really want to take this pair, which are a pair of Jimmy Choo's in the velvet, because they'll look really pretty for a lot of different outfits. It just depends what I'm taking. I'm not too sure. I need to try on a few outfits, I think. I've got my try-on session in full swing. This is going to be another one of my outfits. This jumper, 
paired with the blue. Oh, this is just the most gorgeous coat. And the hat. And I've paired it with some leather, half leather, half jean style. But ooh! <laughs> trousers and my big Sorel booties. I might wear this to the airport tomorrow actually. This might be my airport outfit, I think. Right, I think I'm packed. It's actually taken me all day to work out what I need to take. I've been WhatsApping Amelia, asking her what she's taking, and we've come to a conclusion that we need like three or four outfits, a couple of jackets, a lot of base layers, a lot of knitwear. I've got the most fluffy, lovely pajamas. Very excited to try on from Next. So they should be super nice. I've packed all my makeup, so that's all ready to go in. So the last few bits, <laughs> do you know I've actually just realised I've not packed any underwear? So <laughs> underwear. I need to do, I need a few hair bits. GHD curl hold spray for when I'm curling my hair. Ooh, deodorant, that's one thing I do need. A little L'Oreal net, always comes in handy. Bras, maybe I'll need bras, no, I probably won't need very many. I'll just take a black bra. A couple of bubbles maybe, maybe I just need some bubbles. I'll take some new pack of Bimbuzi bubbles. Got my jewellery pack. Got my sunglasses packed. Oh, I should really create like a checklist of things to take. The amount of trips I do, why don't I have a checklist yet? Makes no sense. 